Hey guys, this is Daniel from Valor Comic Services and welcome to the channel. Yesterday, ComC announced a partnership with CGC giving you the ability to ship your inventory from your ComC account directly to CGC for grading. I had quite a few questions about this, but I was able to play around with this morning and hopefully this will provide you guys so with some answers you may have as well. The first question I have is how much is it going to cost and what are the biggest benefits from it? So after going through the process of filling out your form for both CGC and just submitting it through grading through ComC, it's a game changer. It is completely convenient based to be able to just submit it to grading. It took me personally less than 45 seconds versus doing it through the traditional way of sending in the order form for CGC, having to ship it, having to box it up and everything. It's amazing. And I even broke it down into this. I looked at the cost of getting one card graded and it was gonna be the same card from my ComC account. I compared it from the cost of just shipping it through there and going through the whole order form. And I found that the cost of getting the card graded through your inventory is $18 as opposed to nearly $50 independently through CGC with a dealer discount. This is huge and it's gonna help a lot of people. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do it real quick. All right, guys, so from here, you're gonna go onto your ComC account. You're gonna go where it has your username in the drop down menu, and it's gonna say Inventory Manager. When you begin scrolling through your inventory, it's gonna see all the cards that you have on your ComC account, and then you're gonna to begin to look and try to find that the ones that you want to send to CGC for grading. As you can see on my account, clearly I have a ton of filler cards and I'm just trying to find the one specific card that I'm gonna get graded for this video. Now that I've found the card that I'm gonna be sending off for grading, I'm gonna go all the way to the right under Actions. You're gonna click Actions, and then it's gonna give an additional drop-down menu for Send for Grading. Just select your service, which is CGC. And then here was the declared value. Now with the declared value, it does not have to be exactly what you think it's the comps are for. Sometimes you can get away with just what you paid for it. I'm going to be sending it to the bolt. And here you have the fine print for sending in for grading. It's covering that turnaround times are not guaranteed, they're not exact. But the important thing is here, all grading services include white glove retrieval from your inventory, top loaders all supplies as well as shipping to and from CGC now that is huge and then you hit submit and that's all there is to it a 30 second process to take your card from being on your inventory already in the queue to be sent to CGC now this is grading for CGC here I already had a card ready to go I'm changing my inventory to three and just to get these three cards graded for CGC is already at $65. Total with shipping for three cards is $88.75. Of sending cards from your ComC inventory to CGC for grading and also the process of what it takes to fill out a CGC form and send it off the traditional way. Now, one of the biggest differences between these two is with ComC, it gives you the option to submit your books under the bulk status which don't let that deter you from anything the turnaround time is two weeks longer but you'll save money in the long run so if you have smaller tier cards that you want to get graded that aren't anything like huge pmgs or numbered cards then that's definitely a great route to be taking since they're going to be sending so many cards in for grading anyway why not capitalize on the bulk now also with cgc when i in the video when i showed the price for it that is me just sending the three cards to be graded, not in bulk. With bulk, it requires a 25 card minimum, which can be easily achieved through the ComC order versus independently. You're going to have to send a lot of cards just to get that. Even looking at the two, comparing the bulk to the CGC order, just the money saved on time and shipping because I couldn't even put in a buyback that I sent for in the CGC system, I had to manually input all that. So you're also taking 20, 30 minutes out of your time just to fill out the order, as opposed to taking 20 to 30 seconds to check a few boxes and hit submit. You also don't have to go to the mailbox, you don't have to ship anything. The only downside is 
between the two, when you submit through CGC, you will have access to the whole status as things are being developed. Whenever the cards get received and checked in, you can follow up, see what stage of grading they're in. And then whenever the cards are graded, you'll have access to grades before you receive them. Now, with Com C, to my knowledge, you won't be receiving any updates. When you hit submit, you're going to be in the dark for probably 10 to 13, 14 weeks, whatever the turnaround time is going to be for your cards. And you're not going to know those grades until it's back into your Com C account. Now, if it's a card that you're not banking on, then you'll be fine. However, with that, I think this is amazing. I think that's a great, convenient service, especially if you're a collector that collects through EPAC. Essentially, that's how ComC is operated. You use EPAC, or you can mail them in, whichever. But for your EPAC cards to get graded, that's really incredible. And then also, when it goes back to ComC, if you want to go ahead and list it for an eBay auction or put a buy now price, you have that available too. Hope this was informative. I hope it helps you guys. If it did, please drop a comment. Let me know what you think about it. What do you think about grading? I have seen some feedback where people think that doing this format means you're going to be collecting NFT. No, you're going to get... It's a digital placeholder. It's still something physical there that you don't have to occupy your space in your collection or in your room until you're ready for it to be there. So, I think it's great, especially if you're someone that's obsessive and likes to collect a lot. You'll save a lot of room and space until you have the specific card that you want ready for, for you. Don't forget to come hang out with us Wednesday nights for the Marvel Roundtable. Thanks, guys. Be safe.